Now, last year we had over 800 entries in the, in the competition, and uh, as you know, it's uh, something which is for Edinburgh children between the P4 and P7 age range, and it's to really encourage literacy and uh, to obviously help creative writing as well as particular reading skills. And of course, it helps raise awareness and encourages learning about nature and the important environmental uh, issues, which of course are crucial uh, and scarcely off the, off the television and the news at the moment. And it's very appropriate that I have my friend and colleague, uh, Councillor Jim Moore, who is the Edinburgh, I think he's calling him king of sustainability, it's probably not too much of an exaggeration, but he's going to come and talk a little bit about that, I think a little bit later as well. So now, as we said, the, uh, the creative writing team itself uh, had set them the task this year of Scotland's wonderful weather, question mark, exclamation mark, and everything else. I think there's a little bit of uh, irony in terms of there. And of course, it was aimed to encourage pupils to write about one aspect of the environment that really does affect everything in the natural world. And of course, they're given a wonderfully free remit. Of course, it's creative writing, so we didn't want to reduce the, or, or limit the areas they could look at. And we've got a, we had a wonderful series of uh, responses, which you can hear some of this evening, from everything from plants, birds, insects, and animals, and indeed any aspect of Scottish weather and wildlife. My cousin said it's raining cats and dogs. Why doesn't it rain ferrets? Dad mutters, it's this fine rain that gets you wet. Yeah, yeah, how does that work? Mum moaned, it might be an Indian summer this year. What about our summer? <laughs> Old lady croaked, it's bucketing down sun. Oh, okay. My granny laughed, sorry muggy. You have lots of mugs already, Graham. <laughs> blending into the background. I think about the mass of glaciers that moved slowly through this valley all those years ago, shaping the beautiful snow-covered landscape I see now. There are no wasps or flies buzzing around my whispers anymore. They all died in late autumn after they had lived their lives. There are no butterflies. Instead, there are snowflakes landing on my snout. I see some people walking up on the hill, carrying steaming flasks and wearing woolly clothes. There is no hint of green in this usually thriving landscape. All the trees have lost their leaves and the plants have died. The valley, my home, is very still and quiet as most animals will be hibernating. Apart from that hill over there, Muscle, T10, Love Fred the Fox, lick, lick, lick. Fantastic, so this is the bit we all uh, be waiting for. Now we're coming down to the actual uh, finalists, which are coming to two categories. Uh, the highly commended entrance in the primary four and primary five category to start with. Now, when your name is announced, kids, we're asking you to come to the stage and collect your prize bag from Councillor Orr, who's on my left here. Uh, and then Graham, our photographer, is going to take a photo of each of you. That's Graham over there on the left, ladies and gentlemen. Great, so we're going to start with, as I said, the primary four and five finalists. And uh, now I've been given another difficult task of pronunciation, which I, I hope, to, hope to get right. But I've got uh, Nehom Bihelu from Tolkross Primary School and The Beautiful Weather. Next we have Tayo Say from Canalview Primary and with the poem Scotland's Storms. Yazi Murray from Craig Lockhart Primary with the poem A Rain Drop. <laughs> and now we have uh, Jack Elliott who you just heard a moment ago reciting his poem Weather Banter and very entertaining it was as well. Uh, and Jack is from Leith Primary. <laughs> Next we have Lauren Donner from Canalview Primary as well and with the poem Autumn Poem. Catherine Shaw from Eklund Primary, the poem Scotland's Wonderful Weather. 
And now we have three highly, uh, sorry, two, I'm not able to count here, uh, two highly commended uh, entries. And the first one is from Azantha Emily Mitchell, uh, who also we heard earlier with her poem, The Rising Falling Sun. And she's from Stockbridge Primary. So come back. The last of our highly commended entries in the primary four and five age group is uh, for Lachlan Macmillan, the fantastic uh, little recitation and prose form, it's extraordinary and beautifully recited, I thought as well. Uh, so please, a big uh, round of applause for Lachlan Macmillan and his poem, The Inner Thoughts of Fred the Fox. So now we move on to the next part of this evening's uh, ceremony, and I'm delighted to welcome three more young readers for you. Uh, and firstly, uh, and I, uh, firstly, could we have Anya Matthew Matthews from Davidson Mains Primary School come up to the stage? We go. And we'll do the microphone routine once again. They're, they're a little taller now. Excellent. Winter form. Take some bare trees and bury their fallen leaves with snow. Make a coat of white to cover the trees. Blow hard and cold to cool the air. Season with hail. Place the prickly hedgehogs, majestic birds and scorching sun in the cold and they will leave. Set your timer so days are shorter and nights are longer. Leave the lakes and the rivers in the freezer until they freeze. Prevent the relationship between winter and spring from thawing until the memory of spring is foggy. Watch as the first warrior breaks through the solid ground, starting an army of colours. Serve with frostbite and enjoy. Warning, ingredients meant for winter. After three months will go out of dish and melt. Note, don't worry if after winter the sun doesn't shine, because in Scotland, clouds like to be in main focus. We have Shona Baxter from Leith Primary. A big round of applause. How, how excited when you hear a storm approaching and the thunder crashing and the lightning flashes in the dark sky. How amazed when you see snow for the first time this year and the snow dazzles in the sunlight. How lost. Do you feel when you're in the mist and you can't find your way back home and you taste the bitterness in the air? How annoyed when it's sunny and you get too warm and dehydrated and you hear people complaining about getting too overheated and too tired? How angry when it rains and you get soaked to the skin so you have to go back home and you hear the rain crash against the windows? How tired when you try to fight against the fierce wind as the wind whistles in your ears and you get blown backwards no matter how hard you try? Um, and uh, last we have Catherine Wallace from uh, Cargo Field School, who's going to read her poem. Yeah. Sun. Every morning it opens its eyes, stretches and strains its neck. It sits bolt upright as it shows off its beautiful, blissful beams. Its beady eyes stare softly and stretch out its huge yellow arms. They pull playfully around the people, binding and blinding their eyes. But when at night it gets all tired and it its eyes get heavy, it folds up its beautiful beams and curls them around its body. Slowly but surely it creeps away shyly out of people's sight. Then it falls silent, silently asleep. Great, now once again we get to the prize giving size, uh, stage of the evening. I'm going to ask Castle Orr once again to uh, give out the prizes. And if the kids could once again come out to this side and we'll have the photo. I think you've all got the routine by this stage. Um, so we're going to start with the primary six and seven finalists. And could I first of all ask uh, Olivia Petty from Heritage Park Primary School to come up to the stage. Cargill Field School for a 
Peter Nisbet uh, for his poem, which you heard before, Scotland's Wonderful Weather, and he's from St. Margaret's Primary School. And the next one, and I love the name of this poem particularly, Edinburgh, Drip, Drip, Drip. Uh, and this, this is by Ruth Anderson of Hermitage Park Primary. And now we have Shona Baxter of Leith Primary for her poem, How. And William Murray for Blackhall Primary and the poem, Scottish Weather Kennings. And now, uh, Tilda Brown from Cargillfield School once again with the poem, The Lightning. Xander Proud now, and the poem, Scotland's Wonderful Weather. From Delray Primary, it's Libby Sharkey, and once again, Scotland's Wonderful Weather. <laughs> Caitlin Patterson uh, from Davidson Main Primary with the poem, Scottish Snow Days. <laughs> Catherine Wallace from Cargillfield School and the poem, Sun. And finally, for the last of the highly commended entries, is Anya Matthews from Davidson's Main Primary for the Winter Poll. Now, I'm just going to announce tonight's winner of the Green Pencil Award 2013. And to do that, I'm going to call on last year, last year's winner, Nathan Page from uh, St Margaret's RC Primary. If you can come up, Nathan, please. Very good to see you again, and you're going to help me to give the award to your successor, the one who has won it this year. And so I will now announce the winner, and if they will come up on the stage to rapturous applause, Jack Elliott from the Primary School for a fantastic poem. Thank you.